Hello, everyone. Thank you for being here. It's uh, really happy that all of you have taken time out from your busy schedules to actually make it. Before we get started, I'd like to introduce the people on stage. First up is Mr. Gaurav Bora, the CEO of Jigsaw Academy. We have uh, Sadhita Dikumarthi, COO, and Rob Schneiders from University of Chicago Graham School. Uh, before we begin, I'd like you to note that uh, you can feel free to ask your questions at any point of time. They'll be more than happy to answer. So without much ado, Mr. Gaurav will commence the session. Hi, everyone. Good afternoon, and uh, thank you for coming here. Uh, so uh, I'm, I'm sure all of you have been following the, uh, you know, what's happening in the news recently, what's happening in the Indian economy. And uh, you would all have seen that the Indian IT industry has been through turbulent times in the last two years. Uh, there have been a lot of uh, you know, mass firings. There have been restructurings, organization uh, level restructurings that are happening in some of the largest companies, IT companies in India. And uh, Cognizant uh, last week reported that uh, that uh, you know they were going to lay off 6,000 people. And uh, again, Infosys said last year uh, laid off more than 9,000 people. So there are uh, mass uh, firings happening. And uh, even for the people who are uh, managing to hold on to, uh, to their jobs, uh, you know, they, they are, uh, their uh, appraisals, their, uh, um, uh, their promotions, their salary hikes, everything is getting impacted. So uh, a lot of it, you know, especially in the recent uh, news articles, is being blamed on automation. And uh, automation is actually not not really to blame for uh, for this. Um, what what we are seeing is that there have been rapid advancements in technology uh, in in the last few years, and the Indian workforce has not really uh, kept pace with those advancements. So essentially, the Indian workforce. Uh, uh, you know the skills of the Indian workforce have become outdated, and uh, that is one of the reasons why we are uh, why we are seeing what we are seeing in the industry right now. And uh, the fact is that it's not just you know working professionals whose skills have become outdated. Even our academia has not really kept pace with the advancements in the technology landscape. So we are continuing to impart the same outdated skills to our students who are going to join the workforce. And um, if you've seen the AICT report that came out a couple of days ago, it said over 60% of the engineers in India are unemployed. The simple reason for that is that we've not given them skills that the industry is looking for. You know, uh, robotics, artificial, uh, artificial intelligence, big data, machine learning, these are the skills of the future. These are the skills that we need to impart to our youngsters. But uh, unfortunately, that's not something that we've uh, that we've done so far. Uh, if you if you look at new age companies, companies like Uber, companies like Airbnb, Netflix, Facebook, they all rely heavily on data. They all have, they rely heavily on big data and machine learning, not only to understand what their customers want, but also to figure out what new products to launch, how to make their processes more efficient. So. There is a lot of demand for these skills, and India definitely has the potential to become the global leader in this. You know, we uh, we definitely have the skills, we have the quantitative uh, talent, uh, and we certainly have a large workforce that needs to be upskilled on the on the latest. And uh, I think this is a chance for India to reinvent itself from being the global uh, IT offshoring hub to being the world's preferred destination for anything to do with data. And uh, it is with this in mind uh, that we are uh, announcing the launch of the Integrated Program in Data Science and Machine Learning in collaboration with the uh, Graham School of the University of Chicago, one of the top 10 universities in the world. And uh, you know the Graham School of Continuing Liberal and Professional Studies uh, has always been known for uh, uh, for innovation and lifelong learning. And now Indian students will have the opportunity to learn the most cutting edge data skills, not only from industry experts, but also from the eminent faculty of University of Chicago. So I'm confident, uh, we are all confident here that we will be, uh, through this course, we will be building a workforce of the future. 
So uh, I would now request Rob Schneider, Senior Associate Dean at Graham School, University of Chicago, to say a few words. Got my, uh, my own microphone here. I'm Rob Schneiders, uh, and I'm very excited to be with you uh, today to help announce this new integrated program, just to provide a little bit more context on the Graham School and how we uh, fit at the University of Chicago. Our mission, and we've been around since the university was established, is really to help extend the eminence of the university to new populations, right? And so that means, um, you know, both new geographies, but also working adults, um, and uh, you know, our, our mission is really in advancing the career prospects of those we serve in, in our professional areas. So um, today we operate a number of different professional master's programs. One of them is a master's of science and analytics. Um, it's been around for years. And um, you know, in terms of why India now, you know, why Jigsaw as a, a partner in this effort, I think that's a very important question. So we have thousands of students that apply to this very small program each year. Uh, many of them want to come and study in the United States, uh, but they're without, and all of that is without promoting that program at all. Um, but our university and others in the United States uh, and elsewhere have had a hard time figuring out how do we serve the significant population of learners that are here that aren't going to engage in a full-time master's program, right? So online learning, if you look at the adoption of that in, in China, in India, um, is relatively lower than it is in the United States. It just hasn't caught on. So it's been a challenge for the university to figure out how do we actually serve this market. And so I think in, uh, this effort is really to do that through partnership, to take what's best about the University of Chicago in terms of our research and pedagogy and advances in analytics, but then to partner uh, with Jigsaw, who knows this local market, um, who can deliver aspects of this program face to face and work extensively with companies um, intentionally for us in a way that um, that is very much directed at helping to advance career prospects. So we've we've done MOOCs, we've done lots of things that are about information dissemination, but that's not what we're trying to do here. It's really trying to advance the career pro prospects of uh, the students that would engage in this program. So um, I wanted to spend just a little time uh, giving you details about the program in general. Um, so when we designed the curriculum and the program outcomes, uh, there were two uh, important aspects that we uh, we sort of thought about when we were uh, you know finalizing the the curriculum. The first, of course, is the technical aspect. Now, um, analytics, data science, machine learning, these are fairly technical and advanced skill sets. Um, and they're, they're sort of highly valued because uh, there is, you know, they, you have to learn multiple disciplines to be able to perform as a data scientist. So, for example, you have to be good at programming, you have to have a good understanding of statistics, you have to, you know, you have to understand business process and business outcomes because, you know, data science at the end of the day is helping uh, companies solve problems with data. Um, you have to have a good uh, grasp of data management, data processing processes. So, it is a multidisciplinary field. And therefore, it requires a multitude of skill sets, and uh, you know that's something that is lacking in some of the programs that we've seen, which is the ability to integrate all of these different sort of disciplines, with the final objective being uh, the ability to solve problems with data. So one thing that we focused on um, in designing the curriculum is to make sure that the technical skill sets are broad, and uh, you know, uh, uh, that covering uh, the most advanced, uh, the most in-demand tools and techniques that the, the industry is looking for. Uh, but there's another very important aspect as well, which uh, I think you know a lot of technical programs, especially in India, don't necessarily focus on, which is the slightly more softer aspects of uh, you know of, of, of uh, somebody who performs data science, which is the ability to sort of make sense of the solutions that you are generating, the ability to tell stories with data, the ability to convince you know clients about you know the, the validity of your model, for example, or the solution. Um, you know, to effectively communicate your results, to, to sort of manage analytics projects well, because analytics and data science projects are different from IT projects. They require a different set of skills, a different set of resources, you know, a different set of constraints. So you, you know, so what we've tried to do in designing this program is that we want to make sure that there is equal emphasis based on these softer aspects. And at the end of the day, right, um, you want to be able to train people who are job ready, who 
you know, who can essentially, uh, you know, get on the job right away and be able to provide a solution, like provide an end-to-end -end solution, not just be people who are very good with programming or very good with quantitative skills, but people who can essentially put together all of this to be able to come up with business outcomes and business solutions that companies can use. Um, so those are the two things that we uh, really thought about when building the program. Um, I just wanted to emphasize a, a few more things, just specifics about the program in general. Um, in terms of the content, uh, it is aimed at uh, you know uh, working professionals, but people who have just started started on their career, uh, people looking to build long-term careers in data science and analytics. So we are covering a lot of the most popular tools that the industry is using today. So things like R, Spark, machine learning. Um, Etc. That um, that a lot of e-commerce companies, a lot of uh, large companies are looking for. Uh, we are placing a huge emphasis on uh, hands-on learning. So essentially, making sure that we are using multiple business case studies that people get the ability to work on real data and to solve real problems while they uh, work through this course. Um, we are making sure that there is you know strong academic rigor, uh, University of Chicago content, Jigsaw content, but also at the same time a, a huge focus on industry application. So making sure that we are interacting with industries to work on projects, to uh, have guest lectures from subject matter experts in the industry. We are making sure that the course curriculum is aligned to job roles. You know, data science is a vast field. Within data science, there are you know there are different sort of specializations, different kinds of job roles. We are trying to make sure that our curriculum is aligned, uh, you know, at the end of the day, to job roles that the industry is looking for. Um, when someone finishes the program, right, uh, in terms of learning outcomes, we want to make sure that, yes, they are equipped with, you know, uh, extremely strong technical skills, they have a good understanding of, uh, you know, data science, concepts, statistics, etc. But we also want to make sure that these guys are going to be capable to really attack, you know, articulate business problems, find solutions that are data science driven, and apply the solutions, you know, to, to business data, and also make sure that they're able to articulate the solution, validate the solution, sell that solution to a business audience. So we've tried to make the course, uh, you know, in that sense, a very integrated course, not just focusing only on the technical aspects. It is very intensive technically, but also on the software aspects, so that, you know, at the end of the day, this is a more well-rounded education that uh, people have.